save somebody, to bring somebody out, to recognize that somebody, to bring in the glory of God, to aid with people worshiping. Amen? Amen. 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 This, as a minister, your craft is your pulpit. That is what you get to express to God's people. You have been given the opportunity to have a voice unto God's people, whether it's an instrument, your sound person, whether it's your hands, your singing. That is what you have been given by God to give to as a medium to reach God's people. That is what you're given. You are given a blessed opportunity to be able to reach God's people through your craft. Amen? Amen. Now, as I said, this and ministry unto God's people, you are a servant. Everything you do is so that God's people, so you can serve them. You can put yourself underneath them. If somebody says, I really like slow songs, that's what gets me going. I love slow songs. You, it is your obligation as a servant unto that person to say, you know what? Let's sing a couple more slow songs. I know I like stomping, I know I like jumping, but for the good of that person's soul, we need to sing more slow songs. Another person says, well, I like fast songs. Well, it's like, you know what? Then we'll separate time. And you know it. You start off the service, hallelujah. Everything's good, everything's slow. And all of a sudden you feel like a changing in the air, like shoes start flying everywhere, and it just goes nuts. And that's what it's about. That's what it's about because the musicians and singers and praise leaders know that we need to serve the people what is required of us. We need to serve them what they like because it will help them reach God. It will help them break through what they need. It will help them shed their cares. It's not about what you went through. It's not about getting yourself through something. That's a side. That, I'm sorry, but you have to either deal with it at another time, in another place. <laughs> Your time right now is to help somebody else get to the kingdom of God. Get the glory of God. Help them get what they need. It's not about us. Amen? Amen. Lastly, and most importantly, I said they were, the three things were in balance, but I did not say they were even. That the lastly and most importantly, I'll say it again, is your praise and worship unto God. This is what we use to praise. When you are a musician, when you are a singer, when you are a sound man, when you are um, hand ministry, whatever you are, you don't get to jump. You don't get to clap. You don't get to run. You don't get, when everybody's at the altar just breaking down and you see them, you don't get to do that. I mean, yes, at times you, you can but majority of the time, that's not your place. I'll say it right now. It's not your place. You don't get to do that. You don't get the opportunity to just come and worship. And I, uh, last night, it was wonderful. I just got to sit down and have being part of a service, clap my hands. It's been so long since I've done that. But as a musician, you don't get to do that. It is your job to somehow find an outlet to give God praise. If you're worried about, okay, i got to do this song just right, and it, it's all about the people, and yes, those are very important, but you have to be able to praise God in your instrument, in what you do, to be able to get your head and your heart and everything tapped in so connected that you can just give of yourself through your instrument, through your craft, and praise God with it. Amen? Amen. 2 Chronicles 5, 13, and 14 says, And it came even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound, to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voices with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music, and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, and that the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest, uh, verse 14, so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Musicians, people like us, because we are all in the same boat, we are all the same people, we all know what it is to practice, we know what it is to minister in music. But if we praise, if we give God praise with our craft, 
the glory of God can feel so strongly that nobody else needs to minister. Not to say that they can't minister, but there isn't a necessity at the time. They could not bring forth the word of God. The, they could, the priests could not minister. They couldn't say their chants. They couldn't say their scriptures. They couldn't say anything because musicians, people like us, filled the house with the glory of God so strongly because when they did so, they praised. When they did so, they realized that this is my craft. This is what God has given me. I need to praise Him with it. And when they praised Him and worshipped Him with their instruments, with their craft, with what God had given them, the glory of God filled the place. Amen? Amen. Now, we as musicians, we, we're a different breed. I know this. You know this. We do not... We have to do these three things at the same time, every time. It's not easy. And I commend you. I know it's not easy. I know you know. It's not a simple task. There are times where you want to put it down and praise. There are times when you want to put it down and say, you know what, there are times when people frustrate you because they're not getting what you're giving. They're not just tapping into what you need and what you know is there. But I implore you, please give it unto God. Give it unto God. Worship God with what you're given. And God will bless you for it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's stand and let's finish with a prayer. And I hope this blessed you. I hope I didn't just, you know, oh, amen, talk amen, anything. Amen, amen. Amen. <laughs> so let's, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we come before you right now. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this word that has come forth, God. Lord, I ask you right now, Lord, bless these musicians, these singers, God, these sound men, these hand worship leaders, God Almighty, Lord, for you know that they, you have been called, Lord, that they, you have called them, God. You have anointed them to praise you with their craft, God. Lord, give them the wisdom, give them the knowledge, Lord, give them what they need to go on further, God Almighty. Bless their hearts so that they may bless others, God. Bless the next generation of musicians and singers that are to come, God. For we know that you have called them and ordained them, God, for this time and this season, Lord. We thank you for all things in Jesus' name.